Also breaking tonight, our very own Brian Yenis has obtained this photo that a rally goer took of the gunman. Take a look at this right there on the roof before he began shooting, as well as a video that shows the chaos that ensued after the shooter was spotted and began shooting. You can actually hear the gunman's eight shots and then the two sniper shots, the counter shots, fired back at him. Take a look. It is a miracle Donald Trump is alive today. Also breaking today, 10 days after the assassination attempt on Donald Trump and after a heated hearing on Capitol Hill yesterday, finally, 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 the Secret Service director, Kimberly Cheadle, by the way, Joe, Kim is a woman, not a guy, has resigned in her resignation letter sent to the Secret Service this morning. Cheadle says she takes, quote, full responsibility for the security lapse. And while we wait for Joe Biden to appoint a new director, the Washington Post is reporting that the Secret Service is encouraging the Trump campaign to only hold indoor rallies. Here with reaction, Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz and former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. Jason, let's start with you. This is your wheelhouse. You've investigated the Secret Service service before. Uh, this is a, a security failure of historic proportions. There's no other way to put it, and completely unnecessary. Total and complete lapse. Um, I, I, she should have been fired, uh, not resigned. Um, the Secret Service, they got good men and women. They are totally being failed by their leadership in every single step of the way. But we've highlighted hundreds of times that the Secret Service has failed to do its mission. And thank goodness for Senator Grassley and local law enforcement to put that out there, because not only is the Secret Service not doing their job, but guess what? They are, they are out there deceiving the public in what's happening. Why haven't they held a single press conference? The only press conference that was out there was done by the locals. And then the things they told us were lies. They said they didn't know the name of the shooter. They did. They said he was 20 years old. How'd they know he was 20 years old if they didn't know the name of the shooter? And then they go out and they say, well, there's no ongoing threat. How do you know there's no ongoing threat? You don't even know the name of the shooter. Then they go out and say the pitched roof. That was a lie. So why can't they come clean? Secretary Mayorkas should also be held accountable for this. And for them to suggest that Donald Trump has to hold indoor rallies, I mean, it's like a referee saying, will you stop scoring so many touchdowns because we're tired of running up and down the field? Donald Trump attracts tens of thousands of people anywhere and everywhere he goes, not the 75 people that show up for a Kamala Harris uh, rally. So get your act together. That extraction that you're seeing right there, that was one of the most pathetic displays. you got a president, a former president that's shot and they can't get him out of there. Look at those bumbling. They're trying to figure out how do you open up the gate, ram the gate, get the guy to the hospital and do your flipping job. You know, the silence of Joe and Kamala has been near deafening Governor Huckabee. Uh, why didn't they fire him? I'm sorry, her. Why didn't they fire uh, the, the, the head of the Secret Service? Why didn't they hire the people that did advance work on this? Why didn't they fire the people that said, oh, it's a pitch roof or a sloped roof? Uh, that's not a sloped roof by definition, uh, Governor. As somebody who used to do roofing, that's not a slope roof. Uh, you could stand on that roof. You could skate on that roof. You could do pretty much anything you want on that roof. Well, the sad thing, what was done on that roof was to shoot at former president and future president Donald Trump. And the reason that, he, uh, that she wasn't fired, that Joe Biden didn't fire him, I don't know that he was too aware of all that was going on. But the other tragedy that was going on here was that Kim Cheadle knew answers, stood before Congress, and wouldn't give the answers that she knew. Thank God for Chuck Grassley for releasing more information in a tweet than Kim Cheadle has released since the shooting 10 days ago. And for her to keep saying, well, it's only been nine days when she was there yesterday. 
The fact is, most of the time when there's a mass shooting, there's a press conference within two or three hours, and every police agency shows up and gives a perspective. This has been the most stonewall thing ever, and we've often heard the phrase, the only thing worse than the crime is the cover-up. Well, we're dealing with a cover-up here. This is not just they don't know what happened. They're covering it up. They're hoping we forget. We will not forget. We will continue to demand answers. And I agree with Jason wholeheartedly. The idea that the Secret Service is now going to tell Donald Trump what kind of venues he can hold a rally, that's absurd. Their job is to protect him, not to direct the campaign. Yeah, it was like the 10-day-long investigation into cocaine in the White House, Jason. And after that long investigation, they gave up saying, we don't think we'll ever find out who did it there, uh, who brought in the, the cocaine to the White House. You know, I, I've got to take issue with one other thing. When Kim Cheadle and others make the case that, well, it was outside the perimeter, by definition, the perimeter, you define it as any place where any harm can be brought to the person that you are protecting. That's the perimeter. The perimeter is not 130 feet away outside of where the rally is being held. No, because that would be a layup. That would be a one foot putt in terms of taking a shot. You know, Jason. between Obama, Biden and Biden, Harris, they have now been through five Secret Service directors. They can't get it right. What's the common denominator there, Joe Biden? The fact is you don't know how to secure this country. You don't know how to run the Secret Service. You don't know how to secure this country. And it is so fundamentally, totally wrong. And yet it's a total disservice to the men and women who actually put their lives on the, on the line and want to serve. Yeah. But they can't. They keep getting these clowns to run the Secret Service. Well. And the guys that were around President Trump, they did a phenomenal job. We do need to point that out. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.